So we've talked about how to manually create layers to do blend shapes within ZBrush and pose out your model so you can render, but let's talk about how we can do all of that with a little bit of help from a Z plugin and also take those into Maya and hook them up as blend shapes. So what I'm gonna do is take my Z plugin menu over here and you're gonna see Maya blend shapes. Go ahead and open that up. And this is gonna set up all the blend shapes that you need. Now, of course you can do all this manually like we've already talked about just by going over here and making a new layer, but you can also go over here to Maya blend shapes, hit make a new layer. And now you've got a new layer here that's recording. So go ahead and start making your new blend shape. And of course, just like anything in ZBrush, as long as you don't change the vert order, your blend shapes and your layers are work, will work fine. So you can use X symmetry. You can have that turned on and then that's in your transform menu. You can mask, control tap to like blur that mask, control tap to invert that mask if you want to. And you can do eyelid shapes and brow shapes. You can have polygroups set up. So if you wanted to do like a jaw open, you can hit W, control tap any polygroup. We'll go out here. We'll grab mask lasso. Now, of course, you could just do a polygroup just for the jaw and the lower mouth. And you can add polygroups at any time. You don't need to worry about being on a layer. So we'll do that in a second. But we'll go ahead and control tap to um, blur that mask out a little bit. Control tap to invert. And now we can do a jaw open. We'll control drag to clear that mask. Once you're done, just again, tap off so the record turns off. And now you can test your blend shape here. You can go ahead and name it. And when you're ready to do another blend shape, all you have to do is go over here to click new layer. It'll go through your blend shapes, turn them all off, the visibility all off, and then set up another layer over here with the record button turned on. So we'll go ahead and turn off X symmetry here and we'll do another blend shape. We'll call this ear grow. We'll tap off, we'll rename it. And we'll go ahead and turn this back down to zero. And at this point, let's say we want to make a polygroup just for easy selection later on. So I'm going to hold down Control Shift. We're going to go into Select Lasso. We'll go ahead and select this ear. And then hold down Control Shift and Alt. And we'll go ahead and get rid of those polygons here. We'll hit Control W to give that a polygroup. And now if I hit Make a New Layer, I can hit W, Control Tap this polygroup. And now I can move this ear a little bit easier. The polygroups don't mess up any vert order stuff. So I can now unmask this, tap off. Let your grow right. And you can just continue like this. Now, another thing you can do is use morph targets and also deformation smart resim to go ahead and switch your left and right features. So on the morph target side, go ahead and delete any morph targets you may have on there. We're going to go ahead and turn ear grow down to zero. And let's say we want to do a blend shape that goes half and then it goes full. So we want a half blend shape and then a full blend shape. So let's go ahead and make a new layer. And we'll go over here to the eyeball. And also at any point, for example, if you want to do like a half lid over an actual eyeball, you can go ahead and bring in an eyeball. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and, you know, import that eyeball and we can go ahead and append an eyeball just so we have it sitting in there as reference. And again, it doesn't change your vert, vert order or anything. It's all just based on this one object and its mesh. So now what we can do is we can go through here. Let's go back to mask pin and we'll go ahead and mask that upper eyelid. Control tab to invert that mask. Let's go ahead and grab our move brush and we'll say move our lids down half. We'll tap off, we'll go ahead and name it. Lid half right. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here to the morph target. I'm gonna store morph target. I'm gonna click make a new layer. And then if I wanna start off on that lid down half and do a lid down full, all I gotta do is go down here to my morph target, hit switch. So we're already on mid down half. And then I'll just use the move brush. And you can also use, if you wanted to, you can go in here with your gizmo, and use that as well. So instead of having to start all the way over, you can start halfway using a morph target. So when we're done with that, go ahead and tap off and name it. Let's go ahead and make a new layer. And now let's do smart resim. So let's say we want to grow this ear on this side for like ear grow right and then copy that pose over to the uh, left side. So first what I'm going to do is hit W, control tap this ear. And you know what, I'm just going to scale this up. 
Now we'll go through here and we'll smooth those transition verts. So we've grown the right ear, now we want to grow the left ear in the exact same way. So what I'm going to do is go down here to Morph Target, I'm going to delete, Store Morph Target. Let's go ahead and tap off, name it. Go ahead and make a new layer. Go down here to Morph Target and switch, so now we have the big ear. And now we're going to go to Deformation, and then the Smart Resim here. And ideally your mesh will be perfectly symmetrical, this one isn't. What you'll be able to do is keep this ear over here. We'll do a smart resim across the X. Let's unmask that. Let's go ahead and mask out this ear. Actually, we don't even need to do that. We'll hit BMO to go back to our morph brush. Let's turn off RGB, crank Z, add up Z intensity up to 100. And now I'm just gonna morph this ear back. So now we've got ear grow right. And in fact, if you just want, if you had an asymmetrical mesh and you just wanted to grow that ear, you can, I'll change my mind. You can mask the ear out that you wanna, you know, have changed your ear grow, and then with your morph brush, and this is a little bit messy, but you can go through here, and like you, like I said, these vertices change just a tiny bit. It's not a perfectly symmetrical mesh. In order to avoid this, I would say just make it symmetrical and then dial in asymmetry later, or hell, even with a blend shape maybe. But that way, now we have an ear grow right and then an ear grow left. So once we're done with that, we can just tap off, we'll name it. And there we go. So now we've got ear grow left and ear grow right. If you're happy with this and ready to export, you can export these manually if you want to. All you gotta do is dial up the blend shape and then go over here to export OBJ. But you can also use Maya blend shapes over here to export these as well. And if you do want to export manually, I would say play it really safe because again, you do not want to change this vert order. Go down here to your export options, turn off merge, turn off group, and that'll stop any weird vertice things happening on export. But like I said, you can go over here to Z plugin, you can say export blend shapes, you can do visible, you can do all. We'll go ahead and do all. Hit export blend shapes. Now there are Maya, I'm gonna hit F to go ahead and frame our mesh, and you're going to see we have the base mesh here, and then you have all of the blend shapes hidden. We have our eye mesh that we are using as reference, and then it'll also open up the blend shapes window. So now I have to do is go over here, you can say jaw open. Here's our ear grow left, ear grow right. Here's our lid full, lid half. So everything's exported, no vert order has changed, everything's working, and the plugin hooked it all up for you. Now we go back into ZBrush here. You can also have multiple blend shapes that are gonna drive each other. So for example, we have an eyelashes mesh, and we have a blend shape base mesh here. So if I go down here to my layers, we can say, for example, do a lid down full, and then if you go and select your eyelashes or just alt tap those eyelashes, you can also set up a blend shape for, say, for example, the lash down full. So when you go into Maya, you can set up a set driven key. So when you do lid down full right, it'll also drive the lash down full right. And if we put this back to zero, we go into solo mode. You're going to see what I've done is I've made polygroups for these for easy selection. And how I did that was just hold down control shift and I grab these little ends through here, and then I do control shift A, control shift drag to invert that, grab any stragglers I might have, control shift drag to invert, control shift A, and then I can hit control W, makes a new polygroup, and then I can hit W and control tap these, or control shift tap, control tap to mask, control shift tap to bring everything back, control tap to invert that. And remember in here, you can also use your gizmo or anything like that if you wanna rotate and then use your move brush. So again, use anything in ZBrush you want to, as long as you don't change the vert order, and then you'll be able to export those into a external program for easy blend shape setup. And one more thing I should mention really quick, I totally forgot. Uh, if you wanna change any of your blend shapes, that's totally fine. You can go over here, for example, ear grow right, and we can crank that up and you're like, oh, it's not exactly what I wanted. All you gotta do is hit this record button again, just like when you're working with layers, go through here, make any modifications that you'd like, and then again, just tap off on your recording and then your blend shape is updated. So you can test it, you can record, you can make changes, you can test it, you can record, 
you can make changes. So it's very, very easy to go in, dial in exactly what you want, do a quick test, and then continue modifying your blend shape.